Hello everybody and welcome back to Operation Flashpoint. I don't know why I keep saying Operation, it's just Flashpoint. But we, uh, we found this garrison duty contract to defend a base in the last episode and it's paying a lot. For just one skull and good salvage, we are totally doing this. So 312, 250k, or we can bump it up. I'm going to leave it where it is. We've already paid our expenses for this month. That said, our Jenner is currently out. Uh, let's check what type of biome this is in. This is in a jungle biome, so I, I think the spider isn't going to be super useful in that biome. So let's just wait the three days for our Jenner. Now we're going to get our financial report at exactly the same time. That's okay. We're going to leave it on generous because I want to keep my morale ticking up. So we are down below 2 million, which is not amazing, but we still have 11 days before our Argo upgrade. And let's just go ahead and run this garrison duty and we'll make, you know, a, a little under what we need. We're going to be going against the local pirate organization, so that is fine. Now, do we want to bring stick? We do. And I just remembered we did not spend our mech warrior XP. So let's just see here. Um, nothing to really be spent on here. I await your command. Diva does not either. Rawhide could grab a point of guts, so let's go ahead and do that. Up to four, 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 four. Ready for orders. And Razor can do the same. Training confirmed, Commander. Receiving. And then Stick, we're gonna grab that point of gunnery first. Training complete. Excellent. Okay. Now we are still going to be using stick because I definitely want to have a replacement mech warrior and we'll figure out how we're going to specialize our mech warriors a little bit later on but for right now this will be fine. Now this panther here it does have the one missile slot and we might want to consider after this mission changing it over to using LRMs instead of the PPC. I wish it had more than one missile slot, but I guess it is what it is. We should also probably check the store here and see what they've got available. Um, they've got a blackjack part, a Kentaro part. That's really expensive, though. But it would it would make for a great missile boat. I think we'll buy the Kentaro part. We're down to a million, which is starting to get down to the wire, though. So let's go ahead and just run this uh, this high-paying mission here. And we can, we can run several missions, probably, as long as we get it done within this month. If we don't take too much damage here. We can always sub in the spider as well, and sub in our other mech warrior if necessary. So I think this will be perfectly fine. We could bump this up so that we have our finances paid for for the month. 1-7 versus 3-12, though. And the difference is 100 KC bills. I think we leave it at 3-12. Like, the salvage is so good. So let's go ahead and run this. And we're, we're just going to see about defending this base. This is an easier mission than the previous one, theoretically, so we should have no problem. We've been doing skull and a half missions without a big issue. And this is just a one, a one skull mission. I think we'll be fine. So what do we got for briefing here? We need to guard the supply depot. We have a centralized supply depot here in Brisbane, located to support multiple fronts of hostile action. With so many troops elsewhere, we're looking for a lance of mercs to babysit our outpost. We have no intel that suggests a, a specific threat, but better to be certain. Commander, while there's a lot of fighting in the region, the supply depot is well behind the current front lines. I can't help but be suspicious about their no intel claim. Oh yeah, we're, we're definitely being attacked. There is no doubt about that. Okay, so we're located... This isn't much of a facility, Commander. I'm not sure what our employers were expecting. Are they going to betray us? Scratch that, Commander. Orbital imagery is showing multiple incoming hop hostile contacts. There are a lot of them. Buckle up, Commander. This is going to get exciting. 
So we need to hold out for 10. Defend Torian supply buildings. Ensure all buildings survive. Destroy pirate vanguard. Okay, so this is just a standard base defense, it looks like. Um, realistically, they're going to come in from this side. And then the next wave is probably going to come in over here, is my guess. But we're going to have the high ground on this ridge. This base is relatively well placed. Uh, we have this forest over here. Our Vindicator can kind of head down this direction. And that should be fine. However, I'm going to go ahead and use the Jenner to see if I can get some intel over here. Confirmed. Yep. Spot a center trace. Okay. So there's the enemy lance. We don't know how many of them are mechs and how many are vehicles yet, but I'm looking at this and I'm thinking taking up a position over here with either our panther or our commando would be good. I'm currently leaning towards the panther. Actually, the commando I think would be better. If you can even get there, there's a, sig there's a significant drop there. I don't think the commando can get there. So let's set up the commando up here. And then the Vindicator can come down this way and start approaching these guys, hopefully take that position. And then the Panther cannot jump there yet, but can sprint over to here and then can jump in and fire next turn. Okay. So this is a mech. They only have one mech in this Vanguard? It's a spider? Okay. Did he sprint? Yes, he did. Okay, so we can get in cover here and have a firing solution on him. I think that's fine. We've only got a 25% chance to hit, but Rawhide can take off an evasive pip. Since he just moved, we can focus our fire on this spider. We see nothing else. I think we're good. A miss is fine. The rest are all vehicles, or at least phases three and two. So, yeah, I think this is fine. I'm going to go ahead and use our panther next to jump in here and take a pot shot and remove another evasive pip before we close in with our Jenner and Vindicator. So let's go ahead and see what we can get here. Maybe we get a little damage. Ooh. That was more damage than I expected. Reporting critical hit. Yeah, that was a nice one. Okay, stick, come on over here. You're not going to be attacking from the rear, but you can still get a huge amount of damage out. The burst damage from these Jenners is nuts. Yeah, this is this is going to be a good damage burst, I think. Assuming you hit. Okay, that was a decent hit. Okay, vehicles are closing in. Unless they are strikers, they will be unable to fire. Oh, they're firing on the military building. Okay. That's interesting. That's very interesting. Well, hopefully we'll be able to go after them soon and stop them from doing that. But for right now, we'll need to fire on this spider, and this is going to do a lot of damage, perhaps even kill it. We can't fire our small lasers, unfortunately. Okay, 31 HP in that torso. Now this vehicle is going to move and probably fire on this same building. Ah, it didn't fire. That one did. Missiles incoming. Okay. All buildings might not survive. But we'll see. Ready for orders. I would like to... I think the Jenner needs to be the one to finish off this spider. If he attacks from here, the spider is guaranteed dead. The spider will move next round. Like, after our Jenner, the spider will move if we don't kill it. So I think we kill it right now. Although... Yeah, this is a guaranteed kill if we fire with the Jenner. It's not a guaranteed kill if we fire with anything else. There we go. Spider down. Okay. 
Standing by. Now the next question is, can we get LOS on any of these guys over here? I'd kind of like to. I'm there. But it kind of looks like not so far. They might get another round of firing on that building, which I don't like at all. Our panther can maybe get LOS? The answer is no. We can't get LOS on them at all. Okay, we'll just move over this way then. Actually, we'll kind of... I think we'll leave our panther over here. I'm expecting an attack from this side next, so... Panther can come over here. This vehicle is going to block its own LOS, I think. It did. I am okay with that. I'm very okay with that. Okay, hopefully we can kill it with a single with a single volley here, but we'll see. This is a scorpion. It's fully maintained, so we might not be able to kill it with a single volley. We did kill it. Excellent. Enemy unit destroyed. That was some good shooting right there. Okay, what else do we have? Oh, they're going to come back around this way? Fire on the Vindicator? Just not fire. Heads up, Commander. You've got hostile contacts inbound. Oh, right there. Okay. What are they? We've got a panther and a locust. Receiving you. Okay, we need our panther to head up over this direction for sure. And reinforce this. Our commando is going to take some damage soon. On my way. I was not expecting them to land on the crest of the hill there. So, we could fire on the locust or the panther... That Locust has very, very little HP. It is in cover. I feel like we just fire at it with our PPC and hope to do some damage here. Okay. We did a lot of damage to it, actually. Who do they move? Their Panther or their Locust? Oh, there's another mech down there. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Commander? So the commando should probably back off over here. And then fire on their locust. If we have the morale, I'm going to do a precision strike. And see if we can't just take out that locust once and for all. Center torso. It's got 35 HP. Firing all Hopefully we hit. We missed the medium laser. It's got three hit points in that center torso. Okay, Panther is moving. But it didn't fire. Standing by. Okay. Let's take Stick up here. And we will deal with the two vehicles ourselves. And Stick should be able to finish off this Locust. I'm not even going to fire two medium lasers. I'm just going to fire the two medium lasers and the SRM-4. Sink a little bit of heat. And pray that this Locust is dead. Oh, the Locust isn't dead. We hit the arm. All it's got left is this medium laser, so it's not a huge threat now. Galleon's going to come in and probably take a shot at the buildings is my theory. Yep. But we can finish it off with our Vindicator. Okay. That's the idea here, is we just step on this Galleon. It's definitely dead. And then there's one more vehicle over that direction, which our Vindicator will take care of. Okay. So there's a vehicle over there. I gotcha. Oh, hello. They're moving a lot of things at once. 
you gonna fire? Yes. Okay. Not too bad. Oh, now this vehicle's moving as well. We're pretty heavily outnumbered right now. The striker is going to fire. Is that medium military building dead? It might be dead. It's very close. One more round of allowing them to fire at that building and it's dead, but that's not the end of the world. So, realistically, I think our Jenner needs to head off over this direction-ish. But we need to just sprint up here so that we're in position to help with all of this. But I'm going to do that later on. Let's go ahead and use the commando here. Um, I would kind of like to run up over this direction if we can, but we can't turn at the Locust if we go there. I want the evasive pips. I guess maybe we move here. We'll get two evasive pips. Our back is going to be facing this over here, which is kind of dangerous. But I'm gambling that they don't have LOS and they don't really have much for indirect fire. We finish off the Locust. And then the Panther should be killable pretty easily. Okay, so he's moving up the road. Okay, he just guarded. That seems fine. I'm going to move our panther next, and I'm going to move towards cover over this direction. And then I'm going to fire on their panther. And hope to do as much damage as possible. Um, realistically, I don't see how we kill this. This turn, anyway. Um, it's guarded, so it has the 20% reduction. It's not in cover, but our odds of hitting are kind of low. Yeah, we just did a tiny amount of damage. He's almost certainly going to fire on that building and finish it. Oh, he's attacking our Jenner. That was fine. He did no damage. Literally none. Okay. So with that being the case, our Jenner can uh, basically back off ever so slightly to get the one evasive pip or potentially just move here. I think this is fine. And then we'll just fire everything we've got on this panther and do as much damage as we can. Roger. Okay. That's a decent chunk of damage. So these vehicles are closing in over here. We need to finish off this guy for sure, which is 100% what we do next. Um, I feel like we just fire everything we've got at this striker. I, I think... I think we'll kill it. Why can't I fire? Attack the striker. That's weird. Oh, I'm facing the wrong direction. There we go. Excellent. Okay. Vanguard is dead. Now the Vindicator can start rotating. There are a lot of enemies. There's no doubt about that. So those vehicles are closing in over there. They're kind of making a rush for the buildings up here. It's going to take them a long time to kill all the buildings, though. This building is probably going to die, so we're probably going to lose our bonus, is my thinking. But I'm going to go ahead and move the commando towards cover over here and continue working on this panther. So that way the commando is no longer skylined with her back to the approaching enemies. Okay. Structure exposed there. This locust is now moving in. It's the 1v locust, so it's got a medium laser. It can't do indirect fire. And it did not attack. It's getting very close, though. 
I feel like we need to get in its face. Punch this with our panther. I don't like doing that, but I feel like we pretty much have to. Okay. The leg is now exposed. Firing on our Jenner, but the PPC missed. We're good. Barely took any damage there. So stick, honestly, I kind of feel like you just stay put, fire on this guy again, maybe just don't fire the SRM. Or just don't fire the medium laser. Um, yeah, I think just don't fire the SRM. Okay. He's taking some substantial damage over there. These vehicles are closing in, and our panther is a little bit on the exposed side. But we can now start moving our vindicator up this direction. We could also jump. Which I'm going to do, because that would allow us to fire on their panther if we go up here, while at the same time closing in even further. It'll generate some heat, but that's not a real concern right now. With any luck, we'll get some good hits on this panther. Oh man, it is still standing. Well, their vehicles can't really fire yet, and we'll be able to take up position in this forest, ideally, before that happens. They're firing on this building, which is fine. I don't care about that. Okay. Waiting for orders. So, we could punch this guy, or we could pretty much just move in behind him here. Get one evasive pip and take a shot from the rear on him. His rear armor is basically untouched, but it's probably a bit weak. Yeah, it's not great. So if we hit his rear armor, we're going to punch through anywhere if we hit with the large laser. This should be good. Nice. Took out his SRM4. And injured him. Okay. So who moves next? The Locust. The Locust is going to come over here and do what? Melee a building? Oh, just stand there. Ready for orders. Okay. Well, Stick, I want you to try to finish off that panther if you can. Don't fire a medium laser, but fire your SRM this time. We can theoretically kill him here. And odds are okay, actually. He's taking a lot of damage. Mm, nope. Oh, he's going to attack the Vindicator. That's fine. I'm not concerned about that. Okay. Panther, I think... So, here's the idea. We jump the Vindicator up here next turn and try to kill the Locust. And then the Vindicator walks over here and tries to finish off this panther. Heading out. That's kind of the concept. We have good odds to hit. It only has 52 HP here. So as long as we hit with the PPC and either two or three SRM4s, I think it's dead. All weapons are go. It has six HP. We needed to hit with one more SRM4. At least we took out a heat sink. That's something. These vehicles are getting close, though. And they're going to start moving fast now that they're getting to the road. Okay. So the question is, can we get to a firing position on this locust? And the answer is not particularly, actually. We can head over this direction, but we can't get there this turn. We can sink some heat. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay. So now the other vehicles are going to move, but they're not going to be a threat this this round yet. They will be soon enough, but not quite yet. Oh, well, this building's dead. It lives? It lives with 8 HP. Okay, it's probably still dead. <laughs> 
I really think that that building is dead. Um, this panther has 6 HP in that center torso. I really hope it dies here. We missed two. Okay, we got it. Two medium lasers missed, but the third one connected and finished him off. Okay, panther is dead. What is this locust going to do? Attack the panther, of all things. Okay. <laughs> I'm glad that that happened. Well, it is time for me to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we will finish off this base defense. See you all then.